Welcome to the show. This would be a good time to go ahead and introduce my two lovely guests I have with me today. Oh, it looks like I have an Old Spice ad going. <laughs> oh, fuck. Not, hashtag not an ad. Below me immediately, I have the ever lovely, the ever welcome Issa. Evergreen Hooray! Issa. Evergreen. Hello. Always good Hooray! in any season. And below <laughs> Issa, we have the rough, the tumble, the lovely Chris Coquinos. Whoa, oh, look right. at those guns. Hey, where are you, where oh are you finding time to get ripped? I watch a lot of anime about getting strong. A lot of thought went into this tier list today. Uh, for one, Cole made it. This is a Cole original <laughs> tier list. This is Ooh. Cole handcrafted. I realized we hadn't had too much like anime being ranked lately. Refusing. Um, and yeah. we are going to... 100% <laughs> accurately predict what the golden honey of the an of the summer 2020 season is going to be. These 21 series listed down here are all series that will be airing next summer, summer 2020. Some of them are continuations, some of them are delays from the spring season. Some of them uh, are just normal, I guess. Uh, as I said, we're going to go through and correctly place each and every one of them to decide right now definitively what is the best anime of summer 2020 season. And we will be kicking us off as what we are dubbing the totally too early summer 2020 tier list. Yeah, totally too early. I hit that high Not. baby. Not. <laughs> too horny. Every video, Chris. Every video. It's so horny. My job, okay? I do two things and I do them well. I do sound and I do horny. Get on my level. <laughs> I'm the horny one. You're the hungry one. We're still figuring out where Issa is. She's like the peaceful, like in between of horny and hungry, which is a weird. You thing don't to know say. Issa then. And okay. like the problem is that we put this list in order of what the winner's gonna be. At the end of the day, we all know that ReZero is gonna be like it has to be one of the most anticipated anime. Yeah, uh, of, of Whether, the year in its entirety. The creator went and wrote a web series, and then the web series was like so much that they were like, hey. Let's adapt this into a light novel. That also gets you set up to start getting manga made and anime made. Uh, just to answer whether or not it's popular in the West, it does depend on what circles you're in. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, like, in the East, like, you definitely have more because I think more people are aware of, like, very popular web novel series or web series in general. Mm -hmm. um, but when you go in the West, you kind of do have to dig into certain niche or certain like genres. So like I was looking for some good ass werewolf smut and I totally found it. It was self-published <laughs> and free. And oh my God, it was amazing. So, I'm clearly, like, you have I'm to clearly no it. longer the horny one of this chat. <laughs> Chris, you're horny on main, but I'm horny on private. Ah, uh, she streets kind of guy, kind of gal <laughs> combination. I think the only dissenter here is going to be Issa because I know Issa you are not the biggest fan of ReZero. Nah. I think if I were to choose how to ingest ReZero, I would probably prefer to read it rather than watch it. I want to be able to take breaks and pauses at my own pace rather than every seven days you have to confront this. You're reminding me of that one episode of fan servers we had where we were talking about how Issa is smarter than the rest of us because she reads. I remember that. <laughs> it was a, it was a, it was a, it was a callback. And I'm I'm an idiot and I don't know how to read. Isa, do you feel like we should not put it in S? I'm gonna be completely objective. Let's look at just the numbers, just the stats. Just I do think ReZero should be in S because it is probably the most anticipated and will be the most watched series for summer 2020. If you were to rate it subjectively, where do you think you'd put it? I would put it D for I'm not watching it. <laughs> oh, fuck. Damn, fucking <laughs> straight to the bottom. Mineta uh, tier. Another very highly anticipated series. Yaharai Ore no Chesun Love Comedy wa Machi Gataru. Or my teen romantic comedy snafu season three. It is yeah, this so good. The first season, it's following kind of a loner in high school who is forced to join a club that is helping others with another girl who is a loner. Mm -hmm. And along the way, okay. they pick up like a popular girl. Kind of the whole point is that he's constantly solving problems. If I can be the common problem, then everyone will get along. Oh, uh. uh, that's kind of sad, actually. That's it's nothing, very sad. That, it's nothing about that sounds like a love comedy that uh, shenanigans at no. all. 
wall. But he's he's also very self-aware. There's a lot of like fourth wall breaking. It's uh, constantly very high rated. For me, especially the first time I saw it, there was like a, uh, kind of, it was very cathartic, cathartic because you kind of see, oh, his way of doing things. He feels like they're the right way to do things, but it's it's not. Objectively, looking at the numbers and seeing what people are like thinking about this show, it seems like it's going to be one of those top tier yeah. shows. But if I'm giving it like a Kokino subjective rating here, I'd probably put it like a B personally. B. It seems like it it piques my interest in terms of like, I will watch it. I'll give it the old like three episode watch or whatever and see if it really catches me. I don't know. I like my slice of life to be a little bit more sweetness and, and lightning. I would also put it at a B because so I haven't watched the first two seasons, but I know you like it a lot. Mm -hmm. um, and like fun fact, Cole's taste is good. Mm -hmm. I can't quite tell about how good this would be or how funny it is because I am woefully misinformed um <laughs> but that that's also the point of this this is right. totally too early oh yeah that's right <laughs> we have to make definitive statements and absolute <laughs> okay and we're right okay. we're 100 percent right you're right yeah. cole we are right so, rank b, rank b. <laughs> yeah. i think it's going to be a lot more well liked the next anime from the 2020 season everyone knows it everyone <sighs> loves it Okay. Sword Art Online. I could not watch that show for very long, though. So I was really like trying to dive into like the non-mainstream, well, non-mainstream, I guess, whatever you want to call it, anime. And so like I got a few episodes in, I thought the premise of it was neat. Never once did I feel like I need to watch what happens in the next episode. Maybe it's because it just feels like it's substanceless. It doesn't have any actual substance. Very harsh, but okay. Sword Art was amazing for the time that it first originally aired. It was basically kind of dot hack for normies, in my opinion, because Sword Art Online keeps happening. And because it keeps going, it's kind of just like, well, there's all these other 50 anime that have the same exact <laughs> premise now. So Sword Art has a problem where they constantly, to me, objectify females to turn the main care the, the males into heroes by putting the females in a very vulnerable position to be like, oh, if the main character doesn't show up now, this is going to be real bad for this girl. Mm -hmm. oh and it's my. like, I get really sick. And I'm just like, okay, like, can you not ruin these badass female characters mm -hmm. this way? Like, you've spent, a, you've spent 12 episodes showing us how badass this female character is to now throw it all out the window so you can fulfill this weird male power fantasy. Why I think I gravitate towards RE0 or RE0 over some of these others is because I never really found at the time an isekai that I thought I appreciated because I watched some sword art and then I think by recommendation from some of y'all I watched like some of Konosuba. Konosuba just got a little uh... too got a little too horny for me and that's coming from someone who's horny in the streets. Konosuba's like it's in contention for my favorite anime of all time. It's intentionally part of the joke. Yeah. Whether like having that. it be part of the joke is not solving anything. It's kind of like Always Sunny or Seinfeld. At a certain point you're supposed to be like uh they took it too far. Sword Art Online is like you're fulfilling your trapped in a video game fantasy. I have warmed up to some of that so now I want wonder if now that I've hung out with you long enough and I've watched a lot more anime, if I'd have a different opinion or feeling. Now that I've hung out with this depraved asshole. <laughs> <laughs> and I correct. I, okay, 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 Chris. Sword Art needs to fucking fix their seasons. Mm. Because everyone calls the, the bad part. It's part two of season one. With that said, I mean, a lot of people still watch it. It's yeah, one shit. of those things where I feel like <laughs> we're just not in that group of people who really still participate in Sword Art. I, I wonder if it's a lot of new viewers, too. People who have, like, just recently started watching watching and they haven't seen like I don't they haven't like so. grown with the show oh you think I they're just like I think it's really okay. I think the more seasons of a show that you make the harder it is to jump in so because um, we're right 100% of the time I would put sword art in a C C yep I'll, I'll we'll do it let's do it couldn't get out of its own way with shonen Trump tropes <laughs> shonen Trump <laughs> like <laughs> Uh, I, I wound I would, up going back and watching that. more. Fire Force? Fire Force? Yeah. The main character is the lucky pervert. Where he's like always tripping and then he ends up tripping into like this big and, like, old cleavage. Accidentally pulling your shirt down. It's like, oh, oh that, no, okay. like hand under bra. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, How yes. do you accidentally Whoa. trip and slide your hand in someone's... <laughs> and then... <laughs> <Is> that... <laughs> what? What the fuck and then, is that? Those are cutaway jokes. There's no repercussions to them. And I think it's a problem with a lot of shonen is that there's a power creep uh -huh. problem. Watching the trailer for Fire Force, like, if you didn't say anything about it to me, like, I'd be like, yo, this is kind of dope. Bro. The second half of the first season... Cool really starts popping off whenever like they go to this like uh, little like little Tokyo area. I've heard yeah. that the second season is very good. I'd probably put that kind of higher. Uh, maybe like at a B. I would 
what but it like, would be. I don't want it on the same tier as uh, Snafu. <laughs> I say we move Snafu to A then, just yes. for you, Cole. Yes. Okay. Okay. Just for you, Cole. All right. So we're starting to get into the deeper cuts. Get this my. is the most addictive manga that I've been reading. That is so infuriating. This next one called Kanajo Okarishimas. Uh, oh my. Here is basically you're looking at Ao3. It's a fanfic tag. Okay. What would you tag this anime as? It is fake dating, enemies turned lovers. It's Sundere, emotional backstory, because it looks yep. like the main character, his grandma is, is about to die, so she's ecstatic that the main character has this girlfriend. It's mild prostitution. It's like a girlfriend escort situation going well, that, on. That, that is Christ. a big industry in Japan is renting girlfriends. <laughs> what in the actual fuck? <laughs> so this story starts with uh, the main character, his girlfriend breaking up with him. So he downloads a rent a girlfriend app and rents a girlfriend. He gives her a bad rating. Oh no. <laughs> um, turns out that her grandma is in the same room as his grandma. Oh my, oh my god. god. Oh so my they have god. to start this long whirlwind adventure of them not actually being dating, but them actually falling for each other. The stupidest slash craziest thing they could possibly throw in this Listen. is this one girl has a bad heart, and the only time that her heart beats fast is when she's with him. So she's like, well, we gotta date. What is she, what? Jason Statham? Yes! <laughs> Wait, she like got a charge her heart? Stroke. Crank! I am more interested in the two grandmas than whatever you just described to me, because I'm getting anxiety. Yeah. The only problem is that, if you go read the comments for this, the main character is such a wet blanket. Uh... Yeah, like, okay. he doesn't, that sucks. He doesn't, it's like, oh, she's kind of revealing that she likes you. And he's like, Ey, I don't know. Ey. And so it's like just falsely keeping the series going where it's like, okay, they're going to end up together. Hurry it up. It's so frustrating, but it's so addictive. Can I make my own headcanon for this anime? Okay. If this is Grandma's The Buddy Cop movie, oh then I God. give it S tier. But if it's the thing that you told me about, then I don't. I give it D tier. I don't know why you're always so willing to blow your load in these. <laughs> <laughs> we are going to get to a lot worse stuff, and you're already willing to throw out the D tier. You gotta be willing to throw the D sometimes. I want to put this one in B or A because fake dating. I'd be happy with B. Just want you to know that the, the <laughs> B rated anime that you're throwing in there is Grandma the Buddy Cop movie, <laughs> starring Will Ferrell as someone's grandma. God of high school. What do we think? Yo. That looks dope. It looks cool based off of a webtoon series, so already has a really popular fan base. It looks like action kind of shonen. I feel like this is this goes into an S tier automatically for me. This is basically like Fight Club the anime. Basically, I, I feel like that's one. an easy S, yeah. Easy S. I uh, I don't I don't know if we have I don't know if we have anything more to say about it. I would be remiss if I didn't so, say I'm mildly nervous about the story. Yeah. So here is my retort to that. There have not been many Korean comics manhwa webtoons that have been adapted into anime. I think that means that there is probably a more rigorous and selective process in deciding what gets made. Like, if okay. something's gonna get made into an anime from these, it has sure. to pass that culture barrier to get made by a Japanese studio. If it's something like God of War and it was adapted from a very popular webtoon, I'm inclined to think that it's not that they're trying to capitalize on the audience, but there is an audience for a reason. Well, then I'm all aboard class or S class. We have the uh, Misfit of Demon King Academy. This looks like just another one of those school battle tournament harem. <laughs> Demon Lord reincarnated. His aptitude in an academy for nurturing candidates for Demon Lord is inept. <laughs> It really is mm. <laughs> typed out like that. The summary is confusing because it says this demon lord wants a peaceful world, so he decides to launch himself into the future. But the world is too peaceful now, so all of his descendants and all the demons have turned weak. Like reverse Chrono Trigger over here. I mean, I'll probably watch the first three episodes. The art style is kind of reminding me a lot of ReZero. Just reading the summary, I was just like... I don't know, but then look exactly. at the trailer. I just read the full name. Mystery's strongest demon king reincarnates and goes to school with his descendants. The Yeah, the misfit demon king, colon, what you just said. <laughs> By its cover. By its cover. <laughs> <laughs> he says disgust. <laughs> Okay. It's like it's like a camera's frozen. 
Okay, um, what do we feel about this one? The summary I... of it's awful, but <laughs> I, I, the, I, the trailer that I watched was kind of cool, so... I would put C? it out a B. Yeah, C or B, I was going to say B or C. I'm, I can flip a coin and be happy with either. I am starting to get a little tired of the fantasy anime nowadays. Uh, uh, no Guns Life. I was so intrigued by it, but I could not commit myself to watching it. I would go see. I think it's fine. Decadence. I've heard a lot about Decadence. I don't know if I've heard anything good or bad, but Chris, uh, what's the name of that studio? Uh, it's somewhere along the lines of... Not. Many years after humanity is driven to the brink of extinction by a sudden emergence of Gadol, Wheat Gal Gadot, humans now survive, so they float around on like floating islands. According to the summary, it kind of looks like the whole like old hardened man comes across this optimistic young girl. Snapper. Yeah, whippersnapper. <laughs> it's every Clint Eastwood movie, but anime. Are oh, somebody gonna <laughs> and... talk to an empty chair in this one? <laughs> This is giving me um, actually Gurren Lagann vibes. Oh, there's some really cool action shots on here, though. Put it into an S. You S? Yeah. Okay, I was gonna wow. say I was gonna say A or S. Throwing the big ones out there. I mean, I'm I'm down. I mean, I'm. You want to throw it D, Chris? Chris? <laughs> I was swinging D, but you know what? I'll I'll swing some S on this one as well. Whoa! Fine. This next yeah, one. Yeah, I'm not allowed on the streets right now. wa also bitai, or Uzaki-chan wants to hang out. Put this in D for me. Boom. D. <laughs> Let me try to play devil's advocate for a second. Okay. D for devil's advocate. Do you advocate. know shows like Teasing Master Takagi-san? It's like kind of the, the girl who's really infatuated with a guy. I feel really weird as an almost 30-year-old super invested in a mil middle schooler's romance. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. I'm feeling real uncomfortable looking at now, this. Now, with Uzaki-chan, they are in college. So I thought yeah. it was interesting that this is kind of like taking a more mature approach to the relationship a little bit. Right. This feels like they heard too many complaints about it feeling too pedo, and they're like, well, what if we just make them like a little bit older? Like 19. That's way more legal <laughs> and way less creepy. I remember there was a bit of controversy from this one. I think there was a story uh, that I had seen where there was uh, an advertisement. I forget what it was trying to say, if it was supposed to be like, don't touch anyone else inappropriately. So well, they use the images of this character and the whole like beginning bit of this character that they summarize is that she has huge toddies. Yep. Yes. I say we no, throw okay, it in the it's double, about, oh double my D gosh. tier. It's, it's even worse. Lisa. It's, it's so much worse. worse. It's about giving blood. <laughs> There it is. I'm saying we throw it in the double D tier. Nice. Uh, I, we're probably going to move it out here immediately <laughs> because we're getting into Peter because Grill. Because Peter Grill? Yeah. So Which what Peter Grill? The new trailer's out. Peter Grill dirty. It is full nudity. Oh, what? Peter, Peter Grill is the story of the strongest fighter in the world. He has a girlfriend who he wants to get close with until he realizes that all the other women want to have sex with them to bear strong children. The most concise Cole explains that's ever existed. Yeah. I feel very uncomfortable watching this trailer on camera. I am pretty sure they got a character designer who did a lot of um, hentai. Yes. Yeah, I could I could feel that. Oh my. Are you looking it up? Yep. Yep. Oh. This is a lot of hentai. <laughs> oh, uh, yep, yep, yep. <laughs> Yep. Oh my god, okay. I think it's higher than D. Well, I threw it in double D tier because toddies, but... Okay, the next one... The, sorry, the next <laughs> one's name is Peter Grill and the Philosophers of Time. Yes, That's so this is the one we were talking about earlier. This is the hentai the, one. The it's hentai pretty one. much the softcore. I'm horny in the streets. I said it already. I mean, I can't help it, but also I feel very uncomfortable love, watching these trailers for some reason. We love all anime titties here. All right? <laughs> How many how many D's are in the word titty? Uh, depends on how many D's you use. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would hope. Uh, you know what? I'm not gonna answer that question. <laughs> oh God! Are we the fucking worst? Oh, is there a new tier? Right. So, the like anticipation waiting. is killing. <laughs> 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 the next one goes in there as well. Monster Girl Doctor. Yeah, it's not related to the other Monster Musume series, which True. makes me sad. Which is very yeah. horny. I saw things in that show I didn't think I was going to see, and I'm like, oh, this it, better not awaken anything. Oh, it, it definitely awoke some things in me. <laughs> Spider, <laughs> Spider Girls, anyone? <laughs> That's right. I God think damn, my, this cool. this goes into my my same argument or problem of like, oh, it's kind of just the same thing as the other things that have been done. I wouldn't really have rank it very highly. I'll do it. I'll fall on the grenade. Right. I'll fall on the sword. I will doing? look up. Oh goodness. Whoa. I guess so. Hold, okay, I'm watching this show. 
I'm watching oh, Monster Girls. I was watching it now. I would so, watch it anyways. It's Monster Girls, so. Yeah, so this is the English Please. title is um, Monster Girl Doctor, right? Yes. Um, a doctor for Monster Girls. Only the doctor oh. looks like a young kid and his nurse is like the older woman so it kind of goes into the whole like oh, I'll oh play this Doctor young anytime, kid baby. probably like being surrounded oh, by cool. women wow uh i don't know i would put it probably at the drc for me see you're mm-hmm. right see so cole is the hope and dream and we have eight to get minutes the rest so of these? we have because yeah. we got a lot of anime to get through well luckily a lot of it's bad and one of them <laughs> this show is this show doesn't even exist anymore so we don't have to rank that one this is the show that does the huge nut flex at the beginning of the trailer it's like look at all these amazing people we've got yeah. wow there's this guy and that gal and this guy okay oh my god why do we do this is the problem we have every time okay let's see uh the next one is the doku hentai hx eros uh guy's gonna try to save the world world with the power of ecchi and the erotic power of eros so uh, in order to save the world from the sensor bug he has to get his friends horny golden honey we all love anime titties we all love <laughs> anime titties <laughs> hold on here we go <laughs> it's opposite the golden the this is a season two for a show i've never heard about <laughs> Are you a victim of one unwanted spirit possession? No. Uh, is there a ghost you need sent up and away? No. Or down oh, to burn for all eternity? <laughs> oh, Bustin does make me feel good. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the answer is yes. Did you need Muyo and Roji serving justice to evil spirits? So it's like an exorcism, and one kid looks really weird. I don't like this anime. I don't, I don't like it. I don't either. Next one. Do you remember that show that came out a few seasons ago that was The Girls Were Horses? Yes. Put this that in a tier. A tier. This is cute as shit, man. It's what we need. This is yeah. my golden heart. This is, this is like the feel good anime of the year right here. Uh, these are going to be super short episodes. This I'm surprised the it never took off as much. Race horses are now girls, and when they win, they get to put on a pop idol concert. That is wholesome as fuck. Definitely subverted that, a lot what? of expectations about horse girls. <laughs> Ooh, next one is a idol girl anime where they're singing and fighting. This is Slapis Relights? Yeah. The animation, like the style of itself, it's like uh, 3D animated in like 2D backgrounds almost. B? Yeah. Why not? No! <laughs> we, have so, <laughs> we have so many things below it that should be higher. Okay. Okay, bye. C. 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 Fine. We're just, we go. just going to jump all the way down to D. Uh, animal. Oh, uh, idol okay, here we go. Here we go, Issa's show. Oh, yeah, Toy baby! producer, <laughs> Evil Love. We could just stop here A girl at inherits this point. a company that is almost bankrupt from her late father. Lacking the funds, she must now become a producer herself in order to save the company from collapse. During her work, she meets four boys, financial expert Zen, the idol Kira, police officer Haku, and leading neuroscientist. <laughs> One of these things is not like the other. Uh, Simone, and is suddenly involved with the conspiracies and mysteries over the existence of special powers known as evil. Oh While God. also falling in love, what a- Horny, oh yeah, baby. <laughs> Isa, I'll let you put this wherever you want. <laughs> That's a weird sentence, Cole. Cho, but we're, we're 100% Fushi, right. Toshi, Kashiwa, Denetsu. Denetsu. A gag Densetsu? anime set in Kashiwa featuring a high school girl and mysterious creatures. It looks like there's an adorable dinosaur behind her. This looks really bad. This looks like like one of the anime they'd play at like the rotating sushi restaurant like on the screen. Oh my god. That's so funny. I mean, I will say I do love whenever it's like, hey, we don't have the budget. Let's just, let's make something. Okay. I'm going to put that in the space between D and anime titties. No. <laughs> I wasn't sure where you were g- Yeah, you know, yeah. it makes more sense to make it lower. Uh. And we got the season four of Please Take My Brother Away. Okay. Well, why? <laughs> why are there four seasons of this? What is your brother like? Her brother, yeah. Finn, is someone who would yeah. tease her and make her yeah. explode 100 100- What? It's a Chinese anime. Oh, cool. I think it's it's teaser and make her explode 100 times a day. Not a peaceful day as these two are fighting every single minute. However, when trouble comes, Ben will become a caring, loving brother who protects his little sister at all costs. I actually Aww. think this is something that is probably a short form series and um, yeah. they just got a lot of seasons, kind of like All Saints Street. Seems wholesome. Deep. I'll put it in D if only because it's like, oh, well, we don't know anything yeah. about it, and it's the fourth season. All right, we have a negative one minute uh, on three. I want everyone to say what their golden honey is. One, two, three, three, zero. Three, zero. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Issa, you lose. I'm, I'm sorry. Wait, wait. 
Thanks for having me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's okay. We'll go watch the the We All Love we, Anime Titties show. Yeah. We should watch we should watch the top three together. Thank you for having me. Charlie is here. He says hi. He agrees with our tier list. He thinks it's Baby. the best tier list ever made. Tweet us your list. Let us know if we got it right. I mean, I know we got it right, but <laughs> throughout the season, let us know. Or if you liked this kind of uh, longer format, more anime specific content. Bye. Thanks. Bye, friends. Hey there, thanks for checking out the video. Uh, while you're here, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. Let us know what other kind of tier list you would want to see, what other shows, games, anything anime related at all. Uh, if you want to see more great content like that, head on over to roosterteeth.com. You can become a first member. We have a ton more to see.